Welcome to part 2 of wisnotes.com computation quiz number 1 solutions. Question 3. Question 3 asks us to correct to three significant figures the value of 0 0.64 times 2.24. Alright, so this question actually has two parts to it. It firstly wants us to find the value of this multiplication, which is the multiplication of two decimals, and then when we get the 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 product. It wants us to find that product of three significant figures. Okay, so let's look at the solution. So when you're multiplying the two decimals, which is 0 0.64 by 2.24, we'll multiply the same way as if we're multiplying whole numbers. Now the process in multiplying whole numbers is we'll take the first number right here, which is 4. And we we'll multiply the 4 by the numbers in the top row. Okay? So we'll so say, okay, 4 times 4, that's 16. We'll put a 6 right here and we'll carry a 1. I will say, okay, 4 times 6, that's 24 plus the 1, that's how we we'll got the 25. Okay. So I'll show you guys remember how to do multiplication. So we we'll did that for each row. So the next one we'll up would be 2. I will put a zero here because remember one no most before the zero. I mean before the two. So I'll put a zero to identify that your one number came before it. And then we'll multiply the two by four. I will get two four is eight. Two six twelve. And that's all we got one two eight zero. I'll do that for the next two. Alright, so that's the multiplication gave us one point four three three six. And then we're supposed to find this one point four three three six to three significant figures. Now to find it to three significant figures, what we'll do, we'll count three places, remember it's three significant figures we want, so we'll count three places in the number counting from left to right. So we'll say, okay, one, two, three. So we want to find this three to three significant figures. So what we'll do is we'll look to the number, we'll look at the number to the right of the third number and realize that number is three right here. Now, if this three were greater than or equal to five, then we'd add one to the third number, but in this case it isn't, so we just leave it leave it as is. So we we'll say, okay, cool. We're going to ignore our numbers after, and the significant figure is equal to 1.43. Remember, in either case, even if this was greater than or equal to five, after adding the one to it, we'd still ignore these numbers. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next question. Question 4. What is 20% of 50 times 100? So again, this is a two-part question. It first thing wants us to multiply 50 by 100 and then we want to find 20% of that. Okay, let's look at the solution. So 50 multiplied by 100, and that gives us 5,000, right? And then we're supposed to find 20% of that 5,000. Now remember, what percent is out of 100. So when we're doing percent, we'll always put it down to a fraction. And since you know that percent is always out of 100, well, the 20 is supposed to be over 100. Cool. So that's equal to 20 over 100 multiplied by 5,000. And then again, we're going to cancel. So what can be divided into what? We know that, okay, cool. 100 can be divided into 5,000. So we'll say 100 into 100, one time. 100 into 5,000, that's 50 times. And then we'll multiply the 50 by 20, and that gives us 1,000. So 1,000 is the answer for question 4. Okay, guys? All right, let's go on to number 5. Question 5. What is the ratio of the square of 2 to the square root of 64? So this question is asking us to firstly find the square of 2 and then find the ratio of that to the square root of 64. So let's look at the solution. The square of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2 and that gives us 4, right? And the square root of 64, which is basically what number, which when multiplied by itself, gives us 64, is 8. So now that we have, we know what the square of 2 is and what the square root of 64 is, 
we're going to find the, the ratio of those two numbers. So the next step is to have to find the ratio of 4 to 8 or ratio can bring it as a fraction also. So that's a ratio of 4 over 8. The next step is to cancel. And again, remember we cancel by dividing add a denominator by numerator or numerator by, by the denominator. In this case, we're dividing the denominator by the numerator. So 4 into 4 goes one time, and 4 into 8 goes two times, and that's equal to a half. And the ratio, again, can be expressed either as a fraction or as 1 to 2. So that's the solution. Well, thank you guys for watching this installment of the Mathematical Video Tutorials. Um, if you want, you can replay my, my explanations, or you can look at the the slides which will be provided in a PowerPoint format. And until next time, thanks for making it with notes.com.